Hello FIFA faithful Bearhams here and welcome to episode 7, the start of season 2 of Youth Squad Gods with FC Bayern Munich 2. And we have a lot to discuss as we'll take a look at our transfer history right away. As we've made three signings from the free agency, we have Pontus Kajusta, a Swedish goalkeeper who will be a serviceable backup for Finn Stirlin. And then we sign Santiago Vera, a Uruguayan CDM from the free agency as well. Looking for him and Vitaly to become quite the duo at the back. And then finally, we sign Tristan Dia, a French right back who will most likely replace Chochev as our starting right back. So welcome those three to the squad. First off, I'm sorry guys, I can't do face cam right now. I just don't have the time to get that all set up as I want to continue moving on with this series. So there might be a couple episodes here and there where there is no face cam. Probably the best and weirdest news is we finally have gained access to the DFP Pokal. And we have our first round match against Halisher, which will be the first game we play in this episode. But before that, we'll take a quick peek as to what we did off camera. As we did defeat Regensburg by a score of 3-2. And then we managed to grab a 1-0 result against Fickau. And then... At home, the Grunwalder Stadion got another 3-2 result against Magdeburg. For our first cup game, we are going to have our backup squad in, but also we do have a couple starters, as you do see Campanucci, as well as Pablo Ortiz. And then also we are giving the uh, new guys a bit of an introduction for you, as we will have Santi Vera as our CDM, Tristan Diaz as our right back, and Pontus Cayusta as our goalkeeper. So yes, let's kick off our Deutsch Pokal run as we take on Hallisher. As he'll find Fita Albrecht, who's a little far forward for my liking, but hey, that's a good pass as he finds Foré. Foré, gonna try to tap a pass to Henry, but that is way out of the reach of the American. When it comes to Tom Henry, I'm gonna try to play him at different positions as he's not really that good at right back. So I think if we can put him at a right mid or even a CDM, I think it'll work to his skill set more. So here we go, good pass to Henry. Henry, he's going to tee it up. Takes a shot, but it's deflected, so it will stay with us at least. Taps that through. Rotman! Hey! All righty. Wait a minute. Oh, my God, he's offside. Just for a split second, I was like, hey, finally the big guy did something. There we go, good play by Ortiz. Does win the ball, has some options. And he's actually he's just going to take it for himself. He knows he's better than the other two. Why not? Cuts back. Tries to find a pass. Gets another pass through. Oh, my gosh. Couldn't believe he got that through to Rotman. For the second half, I have brought on Gory and Dudzinski, hoping that they will give us the offensive touch. Halsher probably going to get the last chance of this half as Gutau rings one in. Good play by Vera to push him aside, and that will be the end of regulation as uh, both teams don't score. And it's going to be down to this overtime period. So now we do get the ball back. Looking to start something here as Dudzinski. Chips one up. Oh, perfect pass to Gory. Gory heads it down. Gory, can he finish it? No! Maybe another chance? Yes! Yes, second bite of the chariot is the debutante Santi Vera, our Uruguayan CDM. What a power header. Almost from outside the box as Gory's shot hits the goalkeeper straight in the belly. Yeah, no, that was an 18-yard headed shot. So now there might be one last chance here for Halisher. It's the through ball. Easily picked up by Kiusta as he's just going to hold on to the ball here. Take the sweet time, and that will be it. So we do move on to the second round of the Deutsch Pokal. So we get a headed goal from Santiago Vera. For the second game of the episode against Chemnitzer, we are switching up the lineup a bit. As you'll see, Dodzinski playing on the left wing and then Ortiz playing the cam roll. Reason being, Ortiz is a striker, and I feel like with his height and his skill set, that cam roll will fit him a lot better than being on the wing. The Italian just didn't make the effort as there might be a chance here. Here's Dia. Dia's making a run. Dia's still going for it. It's going to go far post to Dodzinski. Ah, oh, nuts. Alvarez running out of space. He will find Uriga. Uriga trying to spread it out. He's going to get past his defender. He's going to have to cut back. Gory finishes. Oh, and he hits the goalkeeper. 
Thought Gorey was going to finish that one. Here's Ortiz. Gets that through to Gorey. Gorey is past his defender. Takes a shot. Takes a block. There we go. Finally, we get a goal, and it is Pablo Ortiz from the cam position. Instead of Dudzinski getting that goal, it will be Pablo Ortiz as Gorey does hit the goalkeeper square in the jaw. So now we do have the lead, and let's try to build off of this. There we go. Good pass to Dia. Dia's going to find a wide open Urg, and Urg is just going to continue to run because you know what? He has the space. Does it get pass through? Yep, there we go. Another goal. Great patience from Uruga to find Simone Gori. Is now with about half hour to go. Bayern Munich might secure this victory. Bayern Munich continues to roll. There's a good play by Ortiz. Able to scrap it off to the, the midfielder. It's going to find Vitali. Vitali sees the run from Gori. Gori's through. Gori, can he get a second one? Yes, he does. Simone Gori with his second goal of the game. And they are just carving up Chemnitzer at this point. Great run from our Italian striker, putting it to the right corner. Bingo. Here we go, good pass to Dia. Dia sees the run from Gori. Is Gori onside? Looks like it. Gori goes, tries to shoot again, shoot again. No! Oh, he was so close to getting that hat trick. Might still have a chance, though. She's going to try to take a shot. That's not going to work out, as that will be the end of 90 minutes here at Chemnitzer. Great result. Two goals from Simon Gori, just a smidge away from his third as well. Pablo Ortiz getting his first start at Cam, so that might be his spot for the future as we continue our unbeaten streak in Bundesliga 3. Before our game against KFC Erdogan, I'd like to announce our second round opponent is fellow Bundesliga 3 side Hansa Rostock. For this game, I switched Dudzinski back to the cam roll as Ortiz will be at his usual left mid roll. I think I'm just going to switch them back and forth since they both do a good job at the cam and the left mid position. Oh, there's a good run from... Wow, great run from Chochev. Gets across in the box. Oh, that was close. I was really close to Gory, but just wasn't enough. Okay, good through ball to Dudzinski. Ah, oh, I'm loving the passing here. Dudzinski, if he can get through. Yes, he does. Dudzinski, he's through. Maybe a chance to score here. Yes, he does. Great goal from the dude, Mateusz Dudzinski, opening up his goal-scoring account for the season, as that is his first, as he does have many assists to his name. Already good start for the boys. Tally sees the run from Bauman. Good. Oh, good play by Gory. Can he get another one? Yes, there's another one. Great start to the game so far. In just 25 minutes, we have two goals. Simon Gory and the dude doing their business. Yeah, this, this team is destined for success. He's able to finagle his way past that defender. Slips it past the keeper. And that is goal number five on the season. Slips a through ball in. Easy play for Gill. Oh, poor pass from Shaba. Yep. First mistake of this episode. Schwaba should have been a little more conservative with that clearance. As KFC Erdogan does cut the deficit in half. We'll just have to see how the rest of this game goes. There's a cross in the box. Good. Oh, my God. Once again, Stierlin gets beat off that near post. That was a well-placed ball from the pass to the shot. There goes the lead. We might drop some points here. Give this to Pablo Ortiz here. Whips it in. Header. Oh, so close. Schwaba was there. Uruga whips one in. Possibly for a header. Not quite. Maybe a chance still. Get across in the box. Here's Ortiz. Does get it in. Does get tapped out, though. Chance for another cross here. Not quite, as that will be the end of the game. Tied 2-2, though. We did have a 2-0 lead at first. Had a couple of flubs. First time this season we have dropped points, but hey. 
still undefeated in league play. Finish off the episode, as you can see, we are in a very favorable position with four wins and a draw, 13 points tied with Groschesbach. And yeah, I have to say, everyone is at full force. Gory's doing good, Dudzinski's doing good, the new guys are showing they can influence the game as well. And I think this will be the year for the second team of Bayern Munich. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.